In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a full beginner's guide to the Wheelify Spin Wheel Email Pop-Up Shopify app. So let's get right into it. The first thing you need to go ahead and do is click the link down below. And once you do that, it's going to take you to this page here, which is where you can go ahead and actually install the app. So you want to go ahead and click on this button here, which says install. And then it will open up our Shopify store. And depending on how fast your Wi-Fi is, it will come up here. Click install here, and it should install it onto your Shopify store. It might take a few seconds, as I said, depending on how fast your Wi-Fi is. So it's now going to go ahead and actually give you some onboarding information. Uh, just press let's go. And it should now take you into the app. So it's going to ask you to approve the subscription. Do that. Um, and you can pick your plan inside of the app, basically. But you can also remove it before you get charged, so it's okay. So now it's going to ask us for our language. I'm just going to put English, but you can pick which is best for you. And we're going to get given the start configuration settings here. So here we are. It's really simple to use. Um, first of all, this is the setup. So we can pick which theme we want. So we can do custom, default, Eid, Christmas, uh, Valentine, Black Friday, Thanksgiving, New Year. There's just a lot of different themes here to choose from. And these themes are basically the color of them, really. So I'm just going to pick the Black Friday one. Let's say I think that one looks good. And that's going to ask us for the pop-up display type. So we have the full screen one or we have the pop-up one. So the full screen one's going to be, well, you can see the difference here. One's full screen and one's going to pop up. Um, you can really pick which one you want to. I'm just going to do the pop-up one for now. So this is where we actually get the slide customizations. So these are the different options we have here. So the label is what it says. The win text is um, the text on it. And then the coupon here is the coupon that they receive for this. So these coupons are going to be, um, so this is coupon one, this is spring sale, coupon three, coupon four, free shipping. So these are all created based upon the different uh, things you land on. You can press create coupon here and you can create a master coupon or a unique one. A master one is the same code for every single si sign up. A unique one will change per user. I think it's fine just to do the master one. And you can just type something in here so you can just say um, save 20 for example. The discounts type, we can do a fixed amount so that we have pound or dollar amount. It depends on your currency on your store. Or we can do percentage, so let's say we do 20% for this one. We can press create discount and cool, it's been successfully created. Now if we go onto the coupon section here, we can use the save 20 coupon. So when they land on this one here, it's going to go to save 20. So it's really as simple as that to go ahead and start using. So we can save that. And now we can actually go ahead and activate the app inside of our store. So for that, we want to go ahead to one of these campaigns. So let's say this one here. We want to go ahead and activate it and activate anyway. And that's going to activate within the app. Cool. And now we need to go to our Shopify store to actually um, make it work within that. So we need to open our Shopify store up, and once we've done that, we want to go over to online store. We want to go to themes, and then we want to go to where it says customize here. So click customize, and from here, we want to go over to the left-hand side, go to app embeds, and we want to turn on the app. Now, for some reason, the app is not showing up in here for me. If it's not, then it might automatically be installed like it has on my store. But you also want to turn off any other apps that might interfere with this. So if you have any other spin the wheel apps or any kind of pop-up apps, you might want to turn those off uh, so it doesn't interfere with it. Once you've done that, press save and we're ready to go back into the Wheelify app to configure it. So here you can see we've got our um, app, we've got the dashboard here. So the dashboard is going to be things like your setup guide. Um, they're going to be telling you to basically set this up with their team. You don't have to do that. Um, You've got things like your statistics here, so you can see how much additional revenue this has driven, how many sales, how many subscribers, the discounts used, impressions, um, and they've got the abandoned cart recovery email, but I'll show you that in a second. Um, but yeah, you can change the date range on here, and you can just sort of look at the statistics for this app itself. I'm just going to accept the terms and conditions there. Now on here, it's trying to get you to review the app, which basically means give it a review on Shopify. If you do like it, then give it a root review. You may as well. Um, but then we can go down here to the edit wheel campaigns. These are all the different campaigns that we have available. Uh, so we have home page, product page, cart page, thank you page, mobile exit intent. So we can go into any of them, just pressing the three dots and press edit. And we can just look at how it all is. So um, 
we can kind of configure it all. We can go to the next bit. We can you know configure how it all looks. Um, and then they have this thing called gravity. So gravity is the chance that it lands on something. So what you often find is that um, this is zero, this is zero, this is zero, this is one. So it means it's always going to land on this one here, no matter what they do and spin. So you can either set the gravity to one of them if you want to, or you can split it between a few options that you want. I'd recommend doing that because otherwise people are going to be getting no discounts and it's just kind of getting in their way um, for no reason. You've also got your um, button animations here, which change down here. You can also change all your colors, so your slider colors, um, the background, the wheel pin color. There's just all the colors you can actually change in here, so it's pretty easy to do. We can go ahead and press next, and oh, I'm just going to press next now, it should work. Cool. And now um, they've got this section here, so when somebody actually wins something, it's going to ask you to put their discount code in and their email and that kind of thing. So this is all just the wording for that. Um, this is the winning form wording, so this is where they will get their discount code. Uh, I'll put the code here. You can just change all the wording on that basically. You can also go ahead and change the countdown timer. You've got urgency, you can have a countdown timer at top or bottom. And then you've got your display options, so things like colors, padding, uh, where the button is, uh, how the button looks, all of that kind of stuff there that you can just configure to your liking. And then next up we have the spin limit, so you can limit by email, by IP, by browser cookies, and you can set the maximum spins per person and how many days it resets. This is just so that um, they can't keep spinning it if you want them to actually do it legitimately. You can then save that and you can just activate any of these campaigns but beware that some of them can um, overlap with each other. We can go over to here onto the analytics and it will show us the analytics of the specific campaign. Um, so you can see it's had two impressions which were both from me. We've also got the A-B testing section here so we can create a new A-B test um, and we can select one of these campaigns and we can just split test between one and another to see which has the best um, amount of sales, the most revenue, the most you know users driven with each campaign. So this is a good way just to see which is the best. We also have our subscribers here so this is people who have used the wheel and subscribed and then we have integration here so this is going to be the code that you have to put onto your site that kind of thing and also other integrations that they offer so Clavio, uh, Mailchimp, SendGrid uh, you can basically connect them all up here just so it's simple and easy to use. But that's basically a beginner's guide to the Wheelify Shopify app if you found this video useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, comment down below that it did help you out. And if you have any other videos you'd like me to make, let me know down below and I will go ahead and do that. So, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.